How can you earn up to $500,000 in tax-free profits? Especially now, with the accelerated increase in property values, you may be thinking of selling your home and cashing out. I want to educate you on how to keep most of your money and make a sound decision before you decide to cash out. Now, please, I am just a licensed realtor. I am not a CPA, nor a tax attorney, nor do I play one on TV. Did you know that according to Section 121 of the IRS Code, you can sell your house and realize a tax-free gain of up to $250,000 for a single person or $500,000 for married if you meet the following criteria. Number one, you have to have lived in the home as your primary residence for two years out of the last five. How does this happen? Well, it's very common here in Northern Virginia to move away and then come back for work. Say you bought a home, lived in it for a year, then got a job relocation, or you just wanted to move. Then you moved back into the house and lived in it for another year. Being able to piece together 24 months out of the last 60 months, then you would qualify for this exemption. Number two, if you are active duty military, foreign service, or part of the intelligence community, you actually get 10 years instead of five. So thank you for your service. However, if you did rent out your property while you were gone, then you absolutely need to discuss your specific situation with either a CPA or a tax attorney. There is a lot of misinformation out there and a trusted advisor should be consulted with before you decide to sell your home. For example, for a married couple, if you bought a home for 500,000 and you put $100,000 in improvements and upgrades along the way, your new cost basis is now 600. You go to sell it for 1.2. Now subtract out that $500,000 exemption and you're left with only $40,000 subject to capital gains. Keep in mind that your cost basis can be calculated by taking the fees used to acquire the property, improving the property, and selling it. So you want to keep track of all your expenses associated with that property. Please know that services like termite, pest, lawn care is not included in that number. I do have some common myths to go over. Myth number one, you don't have to pay taxes if you put the whole gain into another property. Not true. People tend to mix this up with the 1031 exchange. The 1031 exchange is used for business and investment property and assets, not personal. Myth number two, you have to be 55 years old or older to take advantage of this. This was part of the old law before it changed in 1997 with the Taxpayer Relief Act. So anyone of any age can go ahead and do this. Myth number three, you can't claim this unless you invest in another house. Also not true. This used to be called the rollover rule prior to the 1997 Taxpayer Relief Act. So if you wanted to cash out and go on a worldwide cruise, you can do so. <laughs> Fun fact, you can sell your primary residence every two years. Many moons ago, my real estate class was taught by a real estate attorney. This is the very strategy he used to create a great portion of his wealth. He said that he would analyze the market trends for a particular neighborhood and then go ahead and buy in something that he could see was trending upward. For more information, call me today, Donna Chong with the Fox Home Team.